First, do you love a villain in a TV drama? Uh, what about a handsome villain? A uh, hit drama used back for a brand new series and it follows the life of a stalker, uh, Joel Goldberg. Uh, the series has sparked concerns about, from some about romanticising the crime with lots of fans actually messaging the actor who plays the stalker, uh, Penn Badgley, saying that they fancy uh, the character, who's essentially a really dangerous character. And of course we had that, didn't we, with Happy Valley's James Norton, who played the evil Tommy Lee Royce. Mm. Millions of us watched that. Um, and, you know, clearly the actor is a really attractive guy. Mm. Um, are we getting confused here, Judy? And should we stop <laughs> casting these good-looking blokes? The thing is, I think I've, I'm first stuck on the whole situation of, like, handsome and defining people, like, you know, just society defining what's seen as pretty and beautiful and handsome and, 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 and acceptable. Yeah. We're all beautiful in our own light. But um, I definitely now have started to think about how much is glorified in that sense where it's almost like that Stockholm Syndrome when the yeah. person, you know, who brings you that most danger and you end up falling in love with them. I'm just finding that there is a continuous pattern um, when it comes to villains in shows. I remember watching a show um, on Netflix, I think it was 300 and something a year, or it was called, something like that, and it was a gentleman who'd kidnapped mm. his girlfriend or a girl that he liked and said, after this, this year, if you're in love with me, you can stay. But he was a bad man. Yeah. But I can't mm -hmm. lie, I looked at him and thought, whoo, he was yeah. cute. <laughs> <laughs> you don't realise how you're kind of being... And that is a story of in. control and yeah. co coercion, but there's a nice-looking person at the root of it. What, what do you think, Katie? Um, I think it's a really sensitive subject, and I think when there are real-life cases, it's really important not to glorify somebody who's harmed someone and hurt them. I mean, look at cases like Ted Bundy, Rose mm. and Fred West, I think... Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer. I do think people have to be careful in the way they're reported. And you, you can see really clever ways of shooting dramas where the, the evil person is shot from the back, they're a silhouette, you see their hands, you hear their voice, and the centre of the story is the helpers, the heroines, the heroes. So I think there's ways of doing it. But there's also an argument to do that in drama as well, if you're going to do it, because true life crime and drama, they've all merged into one, yes. haven't they? They dramatise. Yeah. I mean, like, personally, I... I don't watch it. I mean, like, my partner gets really annoyed with me. I mean, I was a late starter on Happy Valley and I went right back to the beginning, season one, which I checked actually was 2014. And I think it was a lot more graphic than maybe they would do it now. I wasn't comfortable with it. Loved Happy Valley. Love but it. the scene of the, of the young woman who was abducted, she was raped and tortured, and it, yes, it was James Norton, he's a good-looking guy. I just don't want to see it. Mm. And I just don't understand why we do need to see that whether that is in a drama or it is, you know, dramatisation of a true life yeah. story. And you Do have to be to careful because you can get desensitised and you can start thinking Definitely. it's normal to treat women in that way. Well, we start joking. We're sitting at home watching the telly with our biscuits and there's some horrible guy doing horrible things. We're going, oh, he's cute. I mean, <laughs> that's not good in your brain. I know, but yeah. you know what it is? Sometimes I think that the, the society we live in, um, like, there's sex appeal selves. Do you know what I mean? If you think about adverts, if you think about shows, if you think about... You know, if you look at Love Island, mm. how the girls look, how the guys look, mm. it's all about how people look. Unfortunately, we live in a society where that catches a lot of people's attention. But yeah. also, sadly, I think there's a whole other side to this where, um, wrongly, uh, if you're talking about sexual attacks and, and rape, particularly when it's a um, male to female, there's this um, completely inaccurate idea that good-looking people wouldn't rape somebody. And a lot of, you know, when we see these things with football players, mm where they're not found guilty and they say, well, I don't need to rape someone because I'm young and rich and good-looking. And actually, rape is not about being attractive or yeah. sexual. It's about control. Absolutely. You know, does so, it make you uncomfortable, yeah. Kelly? Yeah, I think it just, it's just about that sexualisation of somebody, you know. Uh, mm. Defining who is handsome, as Judy said, is one thing. So, you know, you look at a lovely-looking guy, but that doesn't mean he's handsome to somebody else, of course. Mm. But then I suppose it is that when you get on to doing drama, which... <laughs> or any TV show, you are basically enacting potential real life, I suppose. So if you're wow. just saying, oh, this person's yeah. all lovely and he would never hurt a fly, then is that not then the perception that if you meet somebody who you fall in love with and think, oh, for the first bit, oh, they look lovely, they fall in love with the look and feel, and then they are completely the opposite. Yeah. You know, so actually, villains, we're all used to villains yeah. looking rough and ready because that's the fear factor 
of someone. If you see someone coming up yeah. to you and it's got like tats all over themselves and they're kind of like, oh, whatever, you're going to steer away. But you're brought in, aren't we? We're brought yeah, in, as you like, said, by that like, sexualisation. Maybe just like too stuff. much of the idea yeah. of a bad boy. That's what yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But I'd it's that old that. thing about do. don't judge a book by its cover and beauty's only well, skin also, deep. Yeah. I mean, they're old stories, but they're, they're true. Yeah. Any actors watching this who always get cast in the villa are now going to realise everyone thinks they're not good looking. <laughs> 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 it's going to be quite an insult, isn't it? Well, you probably know that as an actor, actually. It's a pretty brittle world, isn't it?